Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Clowns. So, welcome to our channel, Crazy Clowns, guys. And if you like our videos, please do hit like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about the recession in the IT industry, which we all are facing and going through this tough time. So, today we have a clown here who will be, you know, talking about little bit about like what is recession and and what we as an individual can do you know in this tough time and and what all things we can do from our side to to keep us productive you know to to mitigate some of the challenges which are occurring in day to day life as of now in it industry so let's start the video um, and i'll start the video by asking a question like what is recession first of all for our viewers so recession is uh, we all know that any country's growth is lies, you know, uh, with the demand and supply uh, mechanism. So people pose a demand, and the companies, the factories, you know, all kind of businesses, they are they are supposed to supply. They are supposed to meet the demand. Yeah. So they are supposed to meet the demand. Okay. Now, it happened that over, over a period of time. This demand supply chain it gets it it slows down. So basically, if you have today a demand of for say uh, a refrigerator, refrigerator. So when you have the demand, um, you'll buy it today. It lasts for another 10, 15 years at least. Right. So that recurring demand is not there. So you know for sure there are the billions of people you know uh, in the world and in the country like India we have. Uh, close to one, one, uh, one, 140 crore people. So slowly there will be a time, you know, when people will not be requiring the number of refrigerators the way people were needing like 10, 10, 10 years before. Right? Yeah. So just, just an example of one appliance. <clears throat> Same for AC. So in today's time, not everyone can afford AC. But there will be a time when AC becomes affordable and then everyone will have it. So then demand will not be there or it will be there to be less. So, this is just a very simple example. But overall, it happens that after a certain period of time, uh, and this happens again and again. It's not the one-time thing. So, this recession is a recurring, is, uh, recurring. Recession is recurring. Okay. So, after a certain point in time, the demand reduces and hence the supply, you know, supply is like, it, it's, it's more. Uh, there are no buyers there. So, what companies can do who are producing the, the products, be it uh, uh, hardware, physical or you know software also in our IT industry. So then there are no people using it enough. So what they have is you know more than supply, uh, more, more than demand. So what they're gonna do? They just can't keep their resources engaged, right? So they have to free their resources. They because they also have to sustain the cost, right? So what they do in that case? You know, people lose their job. So there is no no demand for those companies for people saying that you come and you work with us, you produce this, you produce that, there's no there, not there. So okay. people start to become unemployed. And then company starts looking into you know cost optimization and, and, and categorizing that comes, the products. Of product, course, right? that, that, yeah. that will for sure will come because right. not every company look for laying off people right away. Right. What they see is, let's reduce the cost. This cost is something like, which can be taken care of normal time company don't do not think too much they say that okay this is fine if people are using the printers people are using coffee machines it's okay let them have their own time because we are going good time yeah but when the session comes companies think that okay this is not necessary so if i am having uh, 10 coffees in a day if i reduce it to five coffees it's not gonna harm any in any way to me right it first of all it's gonna be a healthy thing for me and it will save some money for the company because com coffees are coffees from the vending machine especially they are free in all the companies so but it is cost for them and we are having it unnecessary right similarly goes for printing machines printouts uh, the printers the, the employees might be printing left and right the pages where they might not be needed they can they can work it out with pdfs and all but in normal time they are taking the printouts the company feel that no no <clears throat> this is a waste of money right we can avoid this so companies take those measures Right. So, uh, but coming back to the, the initial question, you know, the recession. So, it's like demand supply chain, it gets disrupted because of the less demand, demand goes less and supply. So, and to meet the demand or to reduce the supply for the demand, people have to get rid of the resources they're engaged. Be it people, 
uh, the their employees, be it, you know the the hardware they're using, right. the, the hardware they're using. So everything they have to um, uh, they have to reduce in numbers. That's when we say that it's it's a recession. So okay. it's a it's an e- economic uh, growth in negative terms. So economy growth goes start going negative. That's why we call a recession, especially that negative economic growth sustains for a good amount of time. Let's say uh, a few months to year. That becomes recession. Okay. So so connecting to this, I mean, I have another question. So how this recession is going to you know put an impact or or affect us as an individual? I mean, when I'm working in an organization, how it's going to impact me? So. It max like you know, as I said, you know, it max all the companies, all the producers. Yeah. So the producer can be hardware producers, the producer can be uh, electronic producer, it can be IT software services producer, right? Uh, the way companies like you know all the service services based companies works in India, they are producers. What they produce services through employees. Right. So now in recession, I'll take an example. In recession, for example, uh, you know, um, a company which uh, provides, um, you know kind of a search service search services online so if their business goes down hmm, means people are using less uh, search searching people are doing less searching so their business will go down and what will happen when their business go down they would not need so many people which are already working because they might have scaled from from very less number to high number to meet the demand when demand was on rise it was very high right so they met the demand at the time now the demand reduces reduces what happened what will happen to the people those people are not needed not everyone but few the maybe you know they have 100 people working they don't need 100 people they need 70 people only what will happen to 30 people right so it's difficult to keep on paying to the people and still and at the same and at a, um, the time when the company itself is not earning right, right. for 100 people right? right so company has to earn for 200 people then it's gonna pay for 100 people then they're gonna have 100 people's profit yeah, because because in, if you see in the company, <coughs> the the salaries of the employees, you know, that's a that's a big factor in their in their you know entire budget. Yeah, that's a big factor. Yeah, yeah. So that's why they look for you know laying off some of the employees so that they can you know optimize their their cost centers and all. Yeah. Right. So Absolutely. now now we have talked about this problem, right, which mm-hmm. is occurring. Now let's talk about the solution for this. I mean, right. So what as an individual I can do, you know, to survive my job during this tough time. What extra steps I need to take, or maybe I need to put in more time or effort, or be more productive in the office? What do you say? So, if you know, to answer this, I'll I would like to talk about that. First of all, that who actually is on the you know uh, are in danger zone? What sort of what category of people are in the danger zone? Mm-hmm. From job perspective, I'm not saying you know the consumer perspective. From the job perspective, okay. So in in these companies, people work, you know, they're different people. Every company has their their way of uh, measuring people's performance. Mm-hmm. They have their own uh, uh, set of processes to ensure that people are getting what they deserve as per what they have performed. So, and in, in everywhere it happens that there is a rating system. Let's say from one to five. Five means the best, yes. one means the lowest. So, in when recession time comes, companies becomes conscious and they start to do take more serious measures more serious evaluations to make to ensure that they have some percentage of people in the lowest bracket okay okay so and they and, and the company judge how they judge we'll talk about that so they they keep so they 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 call those those sort of that category of people as low performance or non performance mm-hmm. okay so when they call it non-performance, non-performers, then they are actually in a way saying that if at all the people needs to be laid off in such time, it will be these sort of people. 99% it is these sort of people. That's how it works. Now, how company, uh, the, 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 the question you asked, uh, what we uh, should do in such time to ensure that, right. you know, we, uh, we are stable. We, right. are not, we are not having the fear of losing job. Yeah. So I'll say that one line, especially this what line I'm going to say, it is relevant always, not just decision time, mm-hmm. every time. That always keep yourself relevant in the company, relevant in your space. And how you can keep relevant uh, yourself relevant? 
whatever technology you're working on, whatever skill you have, you keep on upgrading that skill. Keep on uh, uh, be on your toes every time so that you build that skill to depth yeah. and deep, you know. Yeah. And also you should uh, think of making your skill or the technology spectrum big. Mm-hmm. Means similar technology doing similar work but a, um, but a different vendor, maybe a different company. Mm-hmm. For example, you know, if you are using, uh, if you are, if you are, if you know uh, cloud, okay, cloud computing, you know, mm-hmm. so you might be knowing Azure. So you, if you go learn every Azure service in deep, that is deep learning. So you also can look forward for learning GCP, AWS. That is horizontally. That is, that is there. Yes, yeah, that is increasing your breadth. Okay. Width. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that is like horizontal scaling you're doing. Yeah. So that is also important. So make your keep yourself relevant. Uh, as for the current market and the latest skills, if you have that and also when you're working, you know, in, in your working hours, try to be more productive, yeah. which means that less amount of breaks. These uh, things are getting observed, yes, right? Yes, I mean, uh, they are getting observed also, but yeah. at the, uh, on your side, you have to ensure that you're taking less breaks, you're w- wasting your time less, yeah. uh, you know, be punctual. Spend little extra time on your learning and doing something extra for the company, for the customer. This is what companies see that in tough time, what is the value addition you're doing? Yeah. That's where the company will also have a fair idea to differentiate between others and you, right? Yes, that's where they differentiate. And then that differentiated fact, differentiating factor becomes uh, the driving factor to decide your ratings when there is a clash at work level. Right. So then if those who is the person who is not contributing more extra, and they are not, you know, uh, working on their skills to make it more relevant. Yes. Those people are kept in the lower bracket, maybe two rating, two and a half rating, one, one and a half rating. Those so people are more, more, more they, they are more, more in more danger than other people. Right. So as you rightly mentioned that, I mean, rather than worrying for that, okay, what will happen to our job? If you focus on, on, you know, increasing the breadth of your technologies stack or maybe going deep into the technology, which is working on. That's a good idea. I mean, right? If you even lose your job, you are going to get it in any other company. Or Absolutely. Or First of all, that company itself will not want to lose you. Mm-hmm. They will still be ready to pay you even after you may, you may be on bench because they know you have that skill, you have that attitude to work. Mm-hmm. So if not today, it's a good investment. They keep it, keep you today, and then find a project and get billing billing from there. Right. So that will help. But if if we don't have relevant skills, if you're not working on our skills, then company will think that this person is kind of replaceable. Right. And moreover, we don't need the person now. Let's get rid of this employee. We'll, when we need it, we'll yeah. hire. Good. Right? Yeah. And now another question, maybe. So if you see in the COVID time, like when the, when the COVID era ended, uh, there was a spike in, in terms of the hiring, right? Hiring numbers, the, the, the freshers were being hired in, in numbers like 500, 600, like and everybody was getting paid as as much as you know as, as their seniors you know so so it is like um, when when do you think that the good time is going to come again like any, any idea like when is this going to end and, and good times are going to get so during covid people t- took a lot of advantage mm-hmm. you know of the time and people were asking for a lot of money a lot of salary packages at the time companies they have given but now things are towards stabilization so now people are not getting unnecessary, you know, or whatever the money they are asking for. They're not getting that is not easy now. It has become difficult. So that time itself was like once in a lifetime. You know how COVID is, right? Yes. We have seen like no one has seen lifetime like COVID. Correct? So that time itself it it it, it comes once in a lifetime. Then don't expect such time for hiring and for to get more salary packages will come again. No, now market is towards normalization and the people who have already, you know, taken a very high package, who are already being paid more than what they are delivering to the company, they are, at, they are in more danger. Okay. Yeah. So do not expect that again time will come, you will start getting 2x, 3x, 4x of your current salary. No, that is not right. That never happened. It happened because companies were like kind of stuck. They wanted to still work with their customers. So they kind of spent a lot. Now things are being normalized. Okay. 
so still it is going to take some time right to, for for the but normal for the normal time to come back in the id right yeah, yeah. as it was no right no normal time going uh, normal time is going on but not uh, not from the hiring perspective hiring is slowed down because of recession that will be back maybe after a year but uh, from the salary pay perspective the way you said that sort of time is not going to come again okay uh. <coughs> now another question probably we'll end up with, with the last question that as you said that it is evident that recession is going to come you know sooner or later you know it's a recurring thing so so i mean th- we can't do anything about it i mean right like, because it's it's going to come again and again again and it again right it's it's a cycle you no one can predict people can predict but it may work differently hmm. it it will come you just that's why i said the first line keep yourself relevant it doesn't uh, matter its decision or not if you have this habit keeping yourself relevant in the market it does for you it doesn't matter decision comes or not it doesn't matter right okay. work on your skills okay. have the niche skills have the latest skills in your uh, resume and un- under your belt okay okay so i hope our viewers got the fair idea about what is recession and, and what as an individual we can we can you know do so if you like our content guys please do like share and subscribe as we always say do you have anything to say more before i think up? i think just be careful um if you have, if you haven't started working on skills your uh, you know um, your productivity uh, announcement do start you never know when the actual bad time will come so please be ready for it i'm not saying that you know the person who's productive who is working on the skills who has niche skills is not going to lose the job that can also happen chances are less still can happen but that person will have the confidence that i have so much of things so much of skills with me i am so relevant in the market if i am getting thrown out of, from from here i will get a job in a month of time right so that person will be confident that is that is also very important right yeah. Yeah. okay so if you see i mean as we have seen our analytics guys You know, some of the people are watching from across the you know world some of different countries so we have tried to bring in the content in english this time and hope you you like this and if if you can put in comments as well that if you want a mix of indian english you know just in english and hindi maybe we can we can do accordingly right so thank you so much guys thank you